Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense hello of the word. The sun is out, the football has match. a special place on this most Japan. idyllic of days. This, of course, the fixture to which we've been looking forward so very, very much and for so very, very long. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch is pristine, the crowd basking in the sun, smiles on faces, a really good omen for the game, we hope. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. And as you can see, we've already started here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I've always liked the look of Hakim Ziyech, Peter. He's got all the, the qualities you expect in players of, of his ilk, whether it's passing, going past players, end product but it's the way he does it with such efficiency. And then he comes up with those big moments in big games. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. It's run loose here. That's Rawi. So what can they make of this? Nagatomo. Oh, it's a promising build-up, there's plenty of really nice passing. Kamada! I think that's offside, yes it is. Hakimi. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. And he's heaved it away. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Oh, look, this is about as tentative as it comes. Hopefully, a football match will break out soon. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Endo. Well timed, excellent interception. Now it's in the city. He's away. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Sayak! Now, who's going to be first in for the follow-up? Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Masrawi, Japan applying the press here, a high press. Yeah. Could be danger here. Gets his pass away. Cleared away. And there's his chance to lead the counter. In this series. Played out to the left flank. Buffal gets into some space. Gets away from his opponent. Hits one! Danger averted for now. And they're quick to get it back. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How would you review the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline and the break. Nil-nil.
Number 25. Here's the start of the second half. Coming on the field. A tight old game so Number far. Nine. Can that change now? Number 18. Dinks one through. Endo. Passing is crisp and sharp. Kamada. With Sayak. Nice bit of trickery. In the city. Moved forward and quickly so. Now it's Kamada. Kamada. Japan finding their passes. Nasrawi. Aguerre. Goal is still. Neither side really getting onto the front foot. The attendance for this match Just get the pass he's looking for. Looking for the runner. Ziyech in acres of space out wide. He's shifting through the gears here. Tries to up to meet it. And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Substitutions taking place. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Hakimi picks it up from the goal kick. Nasrawi. Well, that looks a good ball through. Trying to find some space for the shot here. Decent hit! And it's in! Just to pick me up, the whole game needs! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, from the moment he got involved, he looked as if he'd go all the way. Terrific. The goal scorer for Morocco. After 69 minutes is... Number 19. Substitution for Japan. Number 14. Japan Number 15. are able now to make their substitution. Number it's been on the 17. cards for uh, a few moments now. Coming on the field. Morocco break the deadlock. Number eight. Well, when the going gets tough, etc. Number um, 10. They can still turn this round. Number I think. 13. He's found a way through. Oh, the ball's run loose here. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Substitution in progress. Well, conceding free kicks in areas like that are an invitation to the set piece technicians. They have to cut this out. Duan. Endo. Big chance! And he hits the net! A game of thrills, all square in the blinking of an eye! Yeah, and the analysis of the goal should take a back seat to the importance of a, a committed reaction. This is wonderful to watch. But there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. 
Well, they deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. Shifted upfield. Oh, good read. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for a last flick. At a time. And here's the chance to counter. Moved on forwards. Now it's Doan. A reprieve. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Well, look, this has been a, a hard-fought encounter, Peter, so mistakes are far more likely over the next 30 minutes. So a brief breather, and then extra time. Well, we are already up and running again. Japan displayed great characters to force extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on? And the shot! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way in crime. Hakimi. And it's Zayek. Out to the right. Whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. Can he finish? And no, he couldn't find the finish. And the Siri has delivered a really costly miss. It could have been their last chance to win it. Move forward and quickly so. Ziesch carries the ball down the right. He is through here. Has a goal! And somehow he managed to miss it. Substitution. Japan can start a counter here. There will be one minute at a time. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. Face to face. He's got the shot away. Goal, Japan. And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. for the first period of extra time. Japan come roaring back in quite some style. We've got a very different game now. Yeah, 90 minutes long gone, 15 of an extra 30 have also gone, and the search for a winner is still on. Truly, this is a punishing game on bodies and heads and minds. The outstanding question, the only question, is there still room for one last bit of drama? And we are already back underway. They have given it everything. It's been grueling. But who will be standing at the very end? Oh, that's a key interception. Oh, they could be caught out here. Japan just have to run down the clock. Referee's given a throw.
Endo. Minamino. Oh, that's an advice. And a header! Oh, that was no routine save. Minamino simply did. And that's that. Well, that's bounce back ability. Responding superbly to come from behind. Shrugging off setbacks along the way. And determinedly getting there in the end. Duan taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. How would you summarize what we've seen today then, Jim? Japan really have a team of the right chemistry, Peter, and it paid off handsomely here. You won't find any and test tubes in this today, bunch. That parking in the area around the stadium I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon.